Welcome back to another Bruce by the Magic Guy. I'm your host, Sean, and we're going to be playing a little bit more of Modern Wizards. Just making sure my mic is working today. All right, awesome. Let's play. So this deck is near and dear to our hearts on the Bruce by Show. We did update it supposedly to the new meta. Yeah, it's good to see you, Puddin. I'm glad you're here. Despite all the new responsibilities that you have, I'm glad that you're here, my friend. And it's not going to be easy doing a year's worth of card games on Twitch. And I don't want to give the wrong impression just because of a lot of my new responsibilities. The plan is we'll log days. They may not be consecutive. In fact, I promise you they won't be. So this is going to be a two or more year endeavor. So don't, don't let that 365 number mistake you. It's a year's worth of uh, card game streams. We're going to delve into a lot of different card games. Not just Magic, but we definitely will have plenty of Magic. Don't worry. I think this is not a keep. Um, this hand only has one land, but it might not ever get off the ground. Let's go ahead and mulligan that. This hand, also a mulligan, unfortunately. Okay. Let's top that. Name Wizard. Because we, we didn't want to fetch away the Master of Waves, is why we're playing Cavender Souls first. August 5th. That's a ways off. Good luck and have fun. We're one and one with this deck, actually. Believe it or not. Oh, man. Scred. Oh, boy. That's going to be interesting. Can I beat an ensnaring bridge? Uh, yes, if the Venser is main. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, with Venser being main, we actually could theoretically beat Scred. Scred red. Master Waves is very good in this matchup due to being pro red. This card might just go the distance. Which would be sweet. I did update the stream decker if you want to. Look at that, guys. It's right here. to the moon, bad in this matchup. We may still put it into play just to have clock. And a tarn. Makes me feel better about playing the Magist of the Moon. Alright, let's attack first and then we'll probably just play this guy. Just so I can play into that juicy anger of the gods my opponent has, right? I mean, I guess we could wait. We don't have to just put him into play. It's kind of what I'm worried about. I wonder, like, if Scred Red still exists in the meta, it's got to be some combination of main deck, like, anger of the gods or something. Oh. Hmm. Okay. That's sweet. Another either vial. Hmm. Certainly don't want to swing into this. 3-3. Three, three. Watch the opponent just combo us next turn. There are a few cards that combo with Reckoner and do funny things. Let's 
it's probably Planeswalker. Yeah. Now, this mountain is indeed red, so if we had the ability to vial in the Master Waves, it would work the way we want it to. Let's take it. three mana two two in this matchup unfortunately but we know that he has some dead blood moons so there's that going for us sage o fables okay it's a solid draw we may have the master of waves here guys during my opponent's turn, of course. But that may be something we have to do, given the board state. But I hope you guys are having a good day today. I know it's the day after Xmas. Wants to bolt my sage. I guess we did turn off the scrying sheets. I mean, I, I really don't know how relevant that would be, that will be. Now, Scred Red's an interesting deck. It is an interesting build. Basically leaning on Blood Moon in a lot of different matchups, but has some really interesting tools. And certainly built around a very powerful Planeswalker. Koth is, although very specific, he goes in very specific decks. He is a powerful Planeswalker, always has been. Um, his emblem, very relevant. In fact, I think this was, yes, I think Koth the Hammer was part of the first set of Planeswalkers ever to have emblems. Uh, I'm almost positive on that note. I remember when uh, this, you know, reprint going back to Mirrodin first happened. What a wasteland. Oh, that's a lot of mana. That's scary. Well. Don't know if we can beat a batter skull. I think the answer is probably not, considering the opponent has like a planeswalker going as well. I mean, I would assume a matchup like this is tough for us, regardless, because some of the tools we have, like, are duds. I'd have to have, like, multiple... multiple, uh... Master of Waves happen, I think. And now he's got he's got his beat on the ground and in the air. All right, we'll concede. So kind of like old school scred with batter skulls and dragons and wonderful nonsense. See if we can beat it. I think we have to respect things like the dragon. Curse catcher is really weak in this matchup. Some of these might come back in. Sower also hits the dragon. I mean, Master Waves is very strong in this matchup, but it didn't really help there. Mastermind, because it's going to be grindy. Spell Sky, because he has burn removal. Things like Kira. Maybe even the Trinket Mage. Maybe not Trinket Mage, but certainly Kira. I think the Swords are fine. Um, I think Harbinger might stay, just because we want enough devotion for Master of Waves. This is a good source of devotion, just like Prodigy is. It's funny, I think back on this deck, there was a lot of clever deck construction going on in this deck. I'm not just trying to pat myself on the back. I know that you guys were instrumental 
in. You know, it's got two cyborg cards. It's a little bit more land than I'd like, but we're going to play it. Um, and just in case he has left in any blood moons, we definitely want to fetch out some uh, islands. Needle, huh? On what? See if he has the read and name Spellskite. Be impressive. I'd be very sad if he knew. What are you doing in West Virginia anyway, Putting Stars? What's what's so important that you gotta be in West Virginia? Well, we're going to need to draw more than one wizard to win this. That's for sure. This might be a fun deck to, like, build. Scred Red. Playing some Fallout. There you go. Um, bunch of Spell Skates. My goodness. Take two. Is he just scrying? I think he's just using the scrying sheet. Now it only draws him a card if it's... Yeah. Only if it's snow. Harbinger. Name Wizard. <laughs> He's also a wizard, guys. Hmm. Hmm. Also a wizard. Dragon. We tried, guys. Oh yeah, I definitely should have brought in the uh, Vandal Blasts. Not just because of Batter Skull. They have a few other artifacts. So that was my bad. That's okay. This probably is not really a matchup we're truly equipped to win. I, mean, I think that there's a chance that we could win it. Oh, okay. Well, so are. So we take the germ and then what? Or do we take the Reckoner? I mean, taking the Germ doesn't do very much. Considering he'll just return the... Uh, it just lets us get a swing in. I think we need to be patient. I mean, Sower is a way we, we could... I mean, like, let's say he plays Dragon, right? Storm, Storm Breath, we Sower that, maybe? Let's draw some cards. Another Aether Vial that does nothing. See, I am, I am tempted to take take the Reckoner. 
I just don't know if it would do anything. It's the problem, chat. I don't think it really changes what's going on on this board stay with the freaking batter skull. I feel like scrying sheets is really depressing though because I'm sure you activate this so much and it you know might never might hit only like once and you know it's just it's just not going to be consistent but no blocks By the way, really appreciate everybody turning out last night really late. Really appreciate that. All right, Boros Reckoner number two. Opponent could be playing like a red devotion deck. I have no idea. Trophy mage. Um, yes. This gives us the tools to break through. Black, white, white. We're not getting... Um, he might just have another pithy needle and I'll be like, gosh, why didn't I bring in the Vandal Blast? You know? We don't have to play Light and Shadow yet. We might want to sit on... Actually, he can't redeploy the Batter Skull here. Maybe I'm supposed to sower the Germ Token and then he can't bounce it and return it next turn. Also, we get the benefit of we have the Sage of Fables still, so 3-3 three, three Flyer. And again, maybe it's correct to take the Reckoner even still. He might not even bounce it. He might just equip it to a Reckoner, you know. And we have to block. Down goes the spell sky. And their deck has a lot of creature removal. I mean, they'll have a braid, screds, bolts. It does have a lot of early creature removal, so. And maybe it's a good choice with a lot of humans running around. I could definitely see this deck being a fine choice. It might just be underrated because it's not your typical control deck that people are used to seeing, like your Jess guys or your Grixis. You know? It, it, this might be in a reasonable place in modern right now. I mean, sure, it's going to have its god awful matchups, right? But, okay, so he's just going to bolt the sower. Yep. At least the germ is summoning sick. At least it did something. I'm just so worried he's going to have, like, now that we, we've lost both of our spell skites, I'm just so worried even if we go to play sword and try to equip it to something that it's not going to work. That's game. Good games. I, I do think this is certainly a tough matchup for us. I wonder what my take on Scred Red would be. Would it be playing things like Grim Lava Mancer? Let me just make sure we can do another game. Yeah, I think we can. Now, we are playing in a friendly league, so we're certainly still playing for prize. No word yet, so we still got time. Yeah, thanks, Reek. You guys helped me build it a few years ago. It's kind of like Bloodfish meets Wizards. We do have some tutors in the deck. The Vidalcan Ether Mages allow you to kind of get a bunch of different tools. I wish I wish I'd sideboarded in the Vandal Blasts. I think we might have actually been able to win that last game. That's my bad. I didn't uh, 
I didn't think long enough, I think, on the sideboarding. Yeah, some of the best decks you'll see on the Bruce by show were brewed as a as a collective. Like, I'll throw out an idea and then you guys kind of help me flesh it out. So that's not unusual. Yeah, these are actually a tutor, so they're more like here. Deck looks more so like like this. Mutavolts cost mana to activate. So it's not it's not perfect. But it's fun to see how a deck that we built a few years ago still can be relevant in, in the modern format. Just a little bit of tweakage. Oops. Put this over here so I can notice it while we're over here. Um, yeah. Something like this. Uh, okay, I've been scrambling to find decent streams. Not everyone is enjoying the holidays with their families. You are blessing. Remember when we built Modern Bomberman? That sounds like a real treat. All right, we're playing somebody who's one and one. That was our record. All right, greedy hand. Let's do it. Don't kill my Aether Vials. They can't thought seize both of them. Aether Vile is such a nutty card. Look, look, look at what Aether Vile's doing. Like, we're keeping this one land hand because of the two Aether Vials. It's such a powerful magic card. Uh oh, well, maybe it doesn't matter. Gonna need a Blood Moon, guys. Gonna need a Blood Moon. Instead, all I got was a bunch of Mutavolts for Christmas. What's up, Goblin Guy? How's it going, my friend? You missed the uh, yesterday's stream. I'm sure you were busy with family and stuff. You were missed, my friend. Let's not do anything that might reveal that we are Bloodfish. I don't even think we play this Polluted Delta. I think we just play the second Mutavault. Sounds like a fine Christmas to me. Carn, carn, carne. What do you got for me, sir? Worm Coil? We could theoretically beat a Worm Coil. A worm coil. We could beat a worm coil. We we moved the sower to the main board, right? Please tell me we did. Nope. Well, we could venture that. <laughs> Dang it! All right, let's just look like normal fish for a moment here. I have to like pretend that we still have outs, right? The Delta would maybe give us a way that there's something weird going on. Oh, now we have the Void Mage. It's a little too late. We actually we don't have blue blue, so we can't even counter stuff with it. Um, there is a Venser we could tutor for. I think, especially since I just got that text. Let's try to squeeze in this match before my family heads over. So Sower's good in this matchup. Vandal Blasts are reasonable against Tron. The extra Blood Moon effect is great. Uh, Trinket Mage? No, I don't think so. Mastermind? I don't think so. Spellskites? Maybe. I, I don't think so, though. I think we want to cut down on catchers? I always cut these, and, and like, but they're so important for certain matches, but I feel like we cut these a lot. Also... The most relevant sword here is probably neither of them. <laughs> They're just not that great against Tron. You can cut the swords package. Maybe that's better than cutting the curse catchers, you know? Maybe we cut a, a harbinger. It's not that great. I think that's a fine build. I think the curse catchers are fine. Here we go. Keep Sure, it's not an Aether Vial hand, and yes, like, we do mulligan pretty heavily with this deck to find Aether Vial, but, like, this hand has one of our sideboard cards. It has a tutor. I don't think we just throw this away. But this is my last game, guys, because I got family coming. Sounds good. I'm going to see my older brother. It's been a bit since 
we've gotten to hang out just the two of us and play some we're gonna play some board games maybe or he got the new super smash brothers so not really worried how that's gonna go because i know it's gonna be good fun now we're talking and and against tron like being able to blue blue counter spell it's the reason why you're leaving the curse catchers really because like this little combination here like next turn we can either tutor or we can use the curse catcher to counter counter pitch and we just counter their big boom booms. I mean, that's how blue white control handles, handles Tron. It's not so much, I mean, yes, the field of ruins are relevant, this and that, but a lot of it is you're just, you're just able to counter their, their payoff cards and you win. Obviously, the problem is they don't have a clock. So, like, our blue blue counter spell has legs. And that's really important. What's up, Part Trap? You missed, uh, we played some Slay the Spire uh, lookalikes. I think you would have really enjoyed. Is this a dismember? It's a warping whale. Look at that curse catcher being clutch and stuff. We also might just flash in the either mage so I have food for the prodigy. That might be a better use of this than tutoring with it. Yeah, you missed some games you were playing uh, last night, Part Trap. You were missed, man. We were all talking about you. We were like, man, uh, what is it? Uh, SLS, the, uh, or the, it should be Slay the Spire. The part, what is the Part Trap demands Slay the Spire command? Let's see if I can remember. And by remember, I mean look at my own bot database. Worm coil. All right, so we could actually just steal that. So I'm gonna let that go. And actually, let's just get Magus of the Moon. We'll steal the worm coil after we've locked down their mana. I know what you're thinking, chat. You're thinking, but Bruce Bay, you don't have blue blue here. You're absolutely right. But I think we want to turn off the Tron mana and force them to have another removal spell, basically. So they're going to swing with the Worm Coil. We don't care. We're stealing it next turn, hopefully. And again, we could take this approach a little bit more slowly and cautiously and play the Glen. Like, especially if we draw another land, we could play Glen Lendra. Okay, so let's go out on a limb here and hope that this works. If they had removal, they would have killed. If they had removal, they would have already used it on the Magus of the Moon. Should this be Slay the Spire, right? STS, not SLS. STS, obviously. Slay the Spire. That's Par Trap's command. Let's take your Worm Coil. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. I'll give you that opponent. And again, maybe we still should have gone Archmage. See? If we'd gone Archmage, then we could have maybe prevented that. Don't know if I'm going to be able to come back from this Ballista. That's okay, though. I've got family coming, so. Opponent quickly reveals their hand for the BMs. I have no idea. Um, that's fine. We, I mean, like, it's one thing to... Here, let's look at the deck real quick, though. It's one thing to just update a deck and be like, oh, okay, it'll be fine in the new meta. I don't know. I think that due to things like humans being really popular, might be hostile to, to a deck like this. I also think that the sword package was cute that... We didn't need that. If I was to make a new copy of the deck, I think it would have many changes, one of them being, I think there's enough creature decks that Sower should just be a main board tool. I think that the swords were clunky and kind of cute. I liked it, but it was also maybe a bad idea. 
I'm, I'd honestly rather do that and then more sideboard space. Let's run one more tutor. Go back to three. I think the three of was really nice. I think I think we liked having the three of. And then uh, what were some of the things that we were weak to, right? Um, <laughs> we were weak to sweepers. We were weak to decks that were able to remove all our stuff. Um, I don't know how to prevent that other than maybe having some counter spells. I mean, we could run unified wills. We do usually have more uh, creatures in the opponent. Some matchups that's not true, but a lot of matchups we will have more creatures. Uh, so maybe some sideboard unified wills. Because I don't necessarily want some negates. I want to be able to counter most anything. So These tend to play very nicely in decks like this. So there you go. Maybe that's slightly improved. Perhaps. I feel like the deck still leans very heavily on either vial, but the archetype always did. We've also played Ensnaring Bridge in the 75 in the, of this before. That would make me more excited about the Trophy Mage, then at least the Trophy Mage isn't limited to just getting swords. It could also get uh, Ensnaring Bridges. So we're going to play something that's not magic, so we're not in the middle of a match when my family gets here. Let me go ahead and make a screenshot of that for you guys. Our daily dose of magic. Uh, how about I play that game that I wanted you to see, Partrap? You still in the chat, my friend? Let me see if he's here. I think he is. Okay, so. Uh, what should we show him, though? Deep Sky or... Let me show you second second. Let me show you de second second. I, I think that you'd really like this game, Partrap. But how's everybody doing? Everybody enjoying their holiday break? Hope you guys are having a good time. I also really want to show you guys Triplicity. So there's a bunch of games on here that I really want to show you guys. This is way too loud. Okay, so boss... Yeah, we lost with this character. Okay, let's ambush. Oh, wrong hockey. Ambush, exploding bullet, barrier. Ambush, flare. Now we have to wait for him to actually have something before we do jamming. So let's do another exploding bullet. Enemies charging up something over here. Let's jamming. Nice. So it actually has to show up in the queue before their thing for it to work. Let's do another barrier. Got there. Night slash, buster, time, manipulate. Can we skip these? I don't really want to take slash. I guess we have to take everything since this is basically the tutorial. We can't use yellow cards yet, so otherwise I would be editing the deck. Back. Enlightenment. Okay. Just make sure we can't use these. Yeah, these are. So we have blue, blue. This class is blue, blue, uh, teal or shield. These are none. Of, we have. We don't have any of the colors. So we need to unlock these. Landslide. Rose block by landslide. Peddlers gather around. See what we can do. Inventory. Let's use the slash. I think this might actually break this down. You have to think about how the card's gonna. Couldn't clear the road. Okay. Yep. And we wasted some time. Let's go to this treasure box. So, barrier, exploding bullet. Uh, actually, we should be queuing. We should be getting to the jamming card. That's what I should be doing. Barrier. 
Ambush. Okay, now we got jamming ready. Okay, well it's jamming. He's got something in the queue. Nope. Nice. So it's kind of a different take though on the deck builder, right? Because like they stack up, we're not we're not drawing cards. I hope you notice that that that's very very fundamentally different. Still nothing we can put into our deck. Uh, we don't actually draw cards per se. All right, uh, abandoned laboratory, destroy a card, transfers rarity to another card, modify. Okay, so. Something I can't use is this. We want it to become, okay, so that would make, interesting, okay, so does that make another, does that make another teal card, or is that how that works? Confused, let's try it. All right, let's lead with barrier. This guy's got a lot of HP. Now, I should be queuing so that we can get to the jamming card. That's what I should be doing. There we go. We don't have enough time to get the jamming off before this happens. Like, I do need to wait for there to be something in the queue. Yeah, see, that's not going to do anything because there's nothing in the cube. I have to make a play, though. You always have to make a play when you still have arrows. Unless, maybe tabbing. Actually, maybe I could have tabbed through that. We'll try to figure that out. I'm still learning the game, guys. I'm kind of just learning as I play. Okay, so enemy. Nope. Okay, so this is going off in 0.1 seconds. I don't think we're going to get this jamming off, but just for the thought experiment, we'll try. No, it didn't cancel it. Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. And we don't have any more jamming. Now, you do go down, like, we'll go down to basics. Like, eventually... No, he died. Man. Oh, I don't want to do that again. Hang on. I mean, I like the game. I just don't want to do the same exact mission we just failed on. Let's try standard mode. So that's where it's going to be like randomized and stuff. Let's try to play as Ainz. Basic or Survivor. Lifesteal. That seems sweet. Let's try Survivor. So basically it gives you a different starter configuration. When this card is used, cannot be used next turn. Damage this turn, but it turns to rashness? I'm confused. Huh. This card will change. Okay. Interesting. Sure, and then we'll revert that one. Guard and a prisoner. Spotted, spotted an enraged prisoner on the run and a guard chasing after him. Both look exhausted and tired. Actually, I don't want to ignore them. Change the slot type here. See, I feel like I'm using this wrong. Drag the slot icon you want to add to the empty slot in your deck. If you have five slots already, the new type will replace the existing type. So this would allow us to have more of what we already have. So if we want more green, I mean, this is hybrid. 
that's not what we want. Drag the slot icon you want to add to the empty slot. Oh, okay, I understand now. Um, I mean, I don't know what types that we need, though, is the problem. I mean, shield is always reasonable. I don't know what these do. These are basically like attacks, healing, um, Okay. Uh, see, the thing is, I don't know what types of cards we're gonna likely to likely to draft. I think he's mostly red cards, green cards, and maybe shield cards. I don't think I've ever seen the other card types on this character before. So let's take shield. Oh, they just give you a shield. Okay, that's useful. Nice. Shield is like a pretty solid opener to... Why doesn't this have a hotkey on it? So let's... Q, maybe? Clean hit. Oh, I kind of get it now. So some of these cards, like when they say sealed, we have to basically spend an action like opening the card, so to speak, releasing the card. Glad that I picked up shield like because we have like a lot of downtime. It seems on this character. And it looks like you can keep stacking it. Or does it fade? No, I guess he has been he has been breaking my shields. Oh. Can only use clean hit when we have three seconds left. I understand now. So if we did this, then we should be able to queue. Yep. Okay. I understand that mechanic now. So we kinda have to that's kinda hard to use to be honest. Now. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we could we could vampire bat into soldier. That did not work. I could get there. Yeah, I mean, I'm still learning this game, guys, for sure. All right, hacking. We don't have purple, so I just reverted it. Uh, enemy appears. Sand lurker. Okay, uh, let's unseal the vampires. Let's cast shield. more shield. Oh, wait a minute. I guess shield only lasts until your next... I understand. Okay. Uh, so we can't clean hit. I guess we just shield? We have five seconds here. <laughs> Sir, this is not Modern Wizards. You missed it, Mackie. And I got family coming, so. Whoa, Mackie with the Twitch Prime sub. Mackie, welcome to HQ. Welcome back to the team. You have subbed in the past, but I really, really appreciate you joining up with me again. Jesse, 
Thank you, my friend. How you doing? How's the family? How's the holidays? I was just showing a new game. Uh, we were playing Modern Wizards a moment ago. This is where I'm thinking of taking the deck in the future. Um, actually, Je Jesse, you probably remember this deck, don't you? This was like the Modern Wizards deck I was kind of screwing around with a long time ago. Can I put these here because of the activation cost? Do you remember this deck? Am I going to be the Area Friday? No, I am driving. I have work uh, tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., so I'm driving back to Pennsylvania tonight. This isn't the exact list we played, though, in the league. I think this might have this version might have done a little better. Looks familiar. We played this a lot. It's a, it's a Master of Waves deck. But it also has the Sage of Fables plus Glendale under Archmage to cut out non-creature spells. And then if you mix in a Void Mage, you can counter pretty much anything. Anything that's not uncounterable. Okay, so if we do a 4 and then a 3, we can Q. Did you ever play Slay the Spire, Mackie? You might like this game. So if we do... That'd be like my whole turn if I... Well, we don't need to. Uh, let's open this pack. Memory Hunter. I could use this, actually, because it's hybrid. Yeah, okay. I think we should be able to use that card in this line. Nope. Okay, we need both card types. Understood. So the reason that we can use the Vampire Bat is because we have red on this side, green on this side. If we wanted to use Memory Hunter, we'd have to have blue here, and then shield would be over here. So we won't be able to use this card. That sucks. This guy's a dropout. Uh, let's see. So let's break... Let's do the Vampires. So this is a really interesting deck builder, Jesse, because it's a, it's a deck builder where you don't actually draw cards. All of your cards are going to be here in front of you, but they're stacked. This guy's got a lot of time manipulation stuff. Interesting. No matter. We'll just kill him anyway. He's doing so much time manipulation, it's kind of... Annoying. But yeah, as you can see, the blue, the blues are us. The reds are the opponent, basically. I don't know. Wrong card. That's not what I want. Well, okay. I wanted a shield, actually. I wonder if I could hotkey this this row. Should finish him. I mean, I'm still learning the game as we go, Mackie. All right, memory, sideboard, shield, nine, shield, zero, push. Interesting. We could actually use that card. Cool. But yeah, we have one more to unlock. But yeah, it's kind of an interesting take on the card game, like deck builder, RPG. This guy looks freaking sick. It's got like a marble head, galaxy swirling thing. All right, uh... Let's get rid of that. Let's gain two? I don't know what that means. No, push. Push? Oh, it does both. Interesting. So you notice how I moved some of the red arrows down? Interesting. So we're I'm I'm stacking our time up later. But now that card's been used up. Okay, that's a thing. It's just W. Thanks for those biddies. I appreciate the bits. It's shield. Take true damage, critical heal. He poisoned himself. That's fascinating. Uh, 
uh, what do the bits actually do? They convert into money uh, for streamers like me, actually. 100 bits is the equivalent of one US dollar, so you just donated me a US penny. The equivalent of a US penny. Bits are sweet, man. You can actually, uh, you can get a bunch of free bits through watching short advertisements, and, and that goes to, uh, I don't know. Okay. I did not know that, Ike. Thanks for the uh, heads up. Hang on a sec. Also, I can't be live much longer, so we may cut this RPG short. I did not realize that, Ike. Thank you for telling me. I always appreciate when tell me, somebody tells me that the Twitch terms of engagement have changed. Very helpful for guys like me. He's just recommending that I change where we are. This is second second. Now this is still in... Uh, early access on Steam, just so you guys are aware. And by the way, the secret mission number one is out for subs. If you didn't get the email, let me know. I can forward it to you. beat this boss yeah that'd be like 18 cents if you were to send them my way Mackie or send them to a, another streamer that you like bits do very little if you just hang on to them Mackie you definitely should spend them on someone uh, whether that's me or uh, another streamer that you like definitely definitely recommend doing that Mackie they also have deals where you can get like a bunch of bits at a reduced cost, so it's like you're you get to donate to streamers that you like at a reduced uh, cost. We'll take this. It's kind of cool. It does a lot of different things. I pretty much only watch you. Oh yeah. Well, I appreciate that, Jesse. The heck are we? This is the starting point. Let's edit our deck. Angel. Yeah. No, Angel seems better. So you kind of want to put some of your best cards forward, I guess. I don't know. That may not always be the case. Oh, actually, Angel's on the back. Okay, so it's top to bottom, obviously. I'm an idiot. <laughs> and again, I don't understand all the game mechanics yet. So let's do... Hmm. I kind of want to get down to this guy, even though we don't need the healing. I'm just trying to get down to the other cards. Yeah, there's not all that much legacy on Twitch these days, especially with everybody playing Arena. Speaking of which, okay, finally we get a clean hit off. That card's really strong, but we have to specifically have three arrows. Just hard to pull off. Let's shield before his turn. Oh, is he just healing? That's annoying. Let's just W a bunch. Or actually, yeah. Oh, no, it's locked. Uh, shield. Yep. So we will do 
move this one. No, we want to pull, right? Pull. Because now we'll get to clean hit. Yep. So a lot of what this deck is trying to do, I guess we just have to keep making it so that we get three. So how many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I need to do seven. So Vampirize, Vampire Bat, or Vampirize Shield will let us... Oh no, we don't have clean hit up. It's Rash Soldier, of course. Darn it. That's what releases clean hit. Okay, now we have access to clean hit, but we don't need it anymore. Let's uh, Angel. And we'll pull. And that should give us a blue... Oh no, it cost us two though to get, ah, it's gonna give us just a two, that's garbage. <sighs> I'm really not that good at this game, guys. All right, so let's try again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if we do six, somehow we get the clean hit off. There we go. Or seven, I should say. Not It wasn't six, it was seven. Let's just burn him out. Burn is actually pretty strong. Because it changes their... Uh, it changes their... Um, Collapse. Okay. Rashness. I'm with you. Boss is that way, but there's treasure this way. Watchtower. You find a watch you found a watchtower occupied by a group of bandits. If you can attack or interrupt them, you might be able to safely pass. You managed to break through, but took some damage, but you found some useful things along the way. Car pack plus one, a little bit of health down. Okay. Shield nine. Clean hit, perfect, perfect. Clean hit. Now we've got a four. Let's time collapse memory. It's interesting. Don't quite understand that card yet. Hey, what's up, Ike? I saw your message. I appreciate that. I did go ahead and make the change. Let's Vampire Bat because we're at 26. So Rashness only works if we took damage this turn. I don't know if we're gonna actually going to be able to use that card because we don't have any self-damage stuff, but let's do a clean hit. Let's... Uh, R. Yeah, I think those rashness are really bad. I'm gonna have to delete those from our deck. It's okay, we just we, we don't have any like cards that deal damage to ourselves is the problem. I may have made us lose, because I don't know if we can actually unlock these. If that makes sense. If I can't get to our basics. Yeah, holidays were good, Ike. What about you, my friend? All 
Okay, I understand now. I understand now. No, they're not bad. I just was being an idiot, and I wasn't pushing them when they highlighted. Uh, let's take barricade and revert these. So that goes back into your pack level. I understand now why that's a good idea. No, no, no. Those, those, those skills are actually really good. Let's cyborg. Shield 9. And that lets me get clean hit in. Oh, never mind. Uh, time collapse? No, we should have vampirized. Gosh, this game is hard. I love it. All right. Did you get anything sweet besides stuff for your car? Or your new, uh, what was it? You were doing like a new exhaust system for your car? Something like that, right, Ike? Let's do shield nine. It's better in the long run, I think. So if we time collapse, we can't get off clean hit. But if I, I think we just vampire bat here. Into med capsule. It's 0.7, so it won't go off to like halfway through my opponent's turn. Unless he time manipulates. And then our heal does nothing. Impressive opponent. We've been outmatched. Oh, clean hit! Yes! Alright, we got in there. Rashness? Can I... Can I... Uh, okay. It's capsule. That clean hit in there. Nice. Mostly money and close roboting. Money's all the way. Two point five inch exhaust. No, I know you're into that stuff, so I like hearing about it. So you're always so excited to tell everybody what's going on with your cars. Should be here any minute. Oh, it's W. Quick, clean hit. Ah, we missed the window. Gosh. I have like no HP, max HP. So we should be shielding a lot, because at least you can shield even though you don't have like a lot of health points. We shouldn't be healing when our, our life points are that low. Maximum life points are that low. It doesn't make sense to heal. Vampire bat. And yeah, let's burn him out. Oh, I had a chance to clean hit and I missed it. We might lose now. That's what I get for button mashing in this game. Yep, we died. Hey, you know what? That's good, though. It's a skill game. When you die, it's because... It's because I uh, was button mashing. Let me give you guys a sneak peek for what we're going to play maybe next stream. I really want to show you Triplicity. There's a few different games I picked up that have like basically Magic the Gathering style combat. Um, or there are RPGs that have ma the Magic the Gathering battle system as like their combat mechanics. Like Ether Lords is a good example. I picked that up for that purpose as well. Triplicity is a weird hybrid puzzle game that also uses Magic the Gathering esque battles. So we're going to play quite a bit of these, I think, on this stream. Let's open with Triplicity. I haven't played it yet. And I'll switch games for us. Triplicity. Wow, it's not on there. Triplicity. It does not exist. All right, hold up. I guess what we can do is I can just run card and board games. Triplicity. 
Should be a thing for card games. It's a thing for board games. Card games, there we go. Let's go to general card games, because that's what this is, more or less. Make it a little bit bigger than that. But yeah, definitely, definitely be looking for second second. I think this game's sweet. It is early access, but I think they're putting a lot of love into the game. Your old car is your baby. Oh, yeah. So this is Triplicity. So this uses a Magic the Gathering style combat, but it's a puzzle game? I heard really good things about this, so we're going to play it together for a bit. All right, welcome to Triplicity Island, home of the card game Triplicity and its challenges. Challenges consist of various puzzles as well as guardians that you must defeat. The rules of Triplicity are simple and games are fast and dynamic. The tables can turn on you in an instant. Let's play a game and see what you can do. Starting deck. All right, welcome. Each player begins the game with a 30-card deck, 30 life, 3 energy, 3 cards in hand. These values are displayed at the bottom, top and the bottom of the screen. You guys can see that, right? And I like it. It, like, it reminds me of like old school magic, too. Like, look at the art. All right, press and hold a card to review its details. Keep holding down. Keep the details open. Release to close. All right, Granahorn is a 4-3 in red. Worm is a 3-4 in green. Gnome is a 2-2 two, two for one. Okay. Um, guess it wants me to play the horn. All right, playing a card uses energy. The energy cost of a card is shown at the top left of the card. You still have energy to use. Select and play another card. Let's play the gnome. Most cards cannot attack the turn they are played. You cannot do anything else this turn. Press and turn at the bottom. Steel Leviathan. All right, each turn you draw cards until there are three in your hand and all your energy is refilled. This turn we can attack with the cards we played last turn. Uh, each card has an attack and health shown on the left of the card. Yep, attack and health. All right, attacking enemy fields damages your opponent's life total. If a card has zero health, it is destroyed. Excess damage from attack will also damage the opponent's life total. Normally, you can play cards and attack in any order. Play some cards to your hand, plus end turn when ready. Okay. Actually, that was foolish. I should have pin wrecked in this lane. So Prism Fist. I really don't want to throw away one of our three force to the Leviathan, but I guess we kind of have to. Oh, I don't have enough mana to. Well, there you go. I don't just want to take a million, but let's do that. Yeah, this was a bad play for me. Hmm. 
sucks that we're losing him, but... Gosh. This guy's good. Alright, hold up. Flying. This car can attack any opponent field. Understood. So let's... We can't attack over here, though. I feel like I'm not playing this very well, even though it's like super basic, right? I mean, come on. Oh. clever. Yeah, flying is a really good mechanic in this game. just put grinders in front of these. It seems bad. Am I just going to take eight here, though? That seems wrong. Yeah, I'm playing this terribly. We just lost that to a centipede and Okay, that was a good turn to draw the Firemancer. Right? Am I still dead? I'm dead. I guess we should just, in this game, like, we should just be okay with sometimes giving up cards because we're going to get fresh cards. Pummeler, quick attack, shield. May attack the turn, it enters play. Well, that didn't go very well. Now I did a chat. In time, you'll collect powerful cards, create new decks, learn the secrets of triplicity. From the menu, you can access your card library. You can view your cards, design new cards with the card. House next to me, you can play practice matches at a tournaments. That's all for now. You may begin your journey. I was going to say I wanted to add that new card to our deck. How do we do that? I think this deck is too top heavy. I think it's, this card also seems bad. Like that card was like the five ones were pretty bad. They just didn't line up very well. desk? No. Not right now. 
screen. Assuming this is a fight. Come on, starter deck. Uh, sure. Sand seems fine. Pummeler's good. Pummeler's really good. Well, that sucks. Nice. I feel like we're doing a lot better this time, but I don't know. Oh, drain. That's kind of sweet. Twiglies. Excellent. Uh, okay. Hmm. We got this game, guys. We got it this time, I think. There's fox paws, man. I don't like them. Just trade. <laughs> I am not listening to Kill Switch at the moment. Nope. Let's clean this board up. Oh, 
I think my brother's here. I'll see you guys on the next Bruce by the Magic Guy. I'll see you.